You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Wednesday, September 12th, 2019. It is also the feast day of the holy name of Blessed Virgin Mary. On this feast day, we remember that simply the name of Mary is holy and that it is a powerful name to call on when we face temptation or any sort of struggle. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we have been talking about holiness for girls. We've already talked about how boys and girls are different, but they're equal. That God created us differently, but we are both so loved by him. From there, we've talked about the feminine genius, which is simply a list of characteristics specific to girls that aren't weaknesses, they're strengths. And if we understand them better, we can not only understand ourselves better, but move toward holiness. The first one is that girls are created to receive, to receive people just as Mary received Jesus at the Annunciation. Next, we talked about our great power to be sensitive to the feelings of other people and how being sensitive to other people's feelings can really change the world. Today, we are going to talk about our next strength, and that is the strength and the calling to generosity. Now, this is sort of a big topic that is fitting under one word, generosity, that we are generous. We are created to be generous. Now, this might not sound like a strength to you. Maybe it sounds mm, like a weakness, maybe. And here's the thing. In the world that we live in today, we are told over and over again that we need to accumulate as much as we can, and we need to keep that to ourselves as much as we can. That the more money, the more power, the more possessions, the more clothes and toys we have, the more powerful we will be. Well, this is simply not true. And the reason why we feel so empty and so sad sometimes, even though we have all this money and all this stuff, is because it goes against the way that we were created to be. God created us, specifically created women, to be generous. And it is only when we live according to the way that we are created that we will be holy and happy. God created us to be generous. Now, what does this mean? There's lots of ways that we can be generous. We can be generous with our possessions, but we can also be generous with our time, with our feelings, and with our thoughts. Now, let's look to Mary once again. How did Mary exhibit this generosity? Well, if you remember, while Jesus was dying on the cross, Mary stood at the foot of the cross, and with her was one of Jesus' disciples, his disciple John. Mary told, or Jesus told Mary that she was now John's mother, and that John was her son. Now, he was saying something bigger than just that these two individual people had a relationship with with each other. He was telling Mary and telling us too that Mary was now our mother, that she was now the mother of the church. And Mary did this. Tradition tells us that John took her into her, his home, that she not only lived there, but that she guided the early church. We hear that Mary was there in Pentecost, that she was there. We also hear from tradition that after St. Paul was converted, he oftentimes went back to this early church, the small church that had formed, and Mary was there guiding the church that St. Paul spoke with her, that he learned so much about her life and about Jesus' life directly through Mary. She gave her life to the early church. She guided it. She loved each person individually. 
And so we're called to give our lives to our family, to our friends, to the good work that God has called us to do. Another helpful way to understand this call to generosity is to remember that in everything we give to each other and to God, we are oftentimes repaid with something even better. In fact, our, our calling to live in a generous way is also another way of thinking about our calling to build relationships. It takes a generous heart to create a friendship. We have to give them time and energy and attention. And it is only through friendships that we can change this world, that we can create new families and organizations that are truly focused on the good of other people. It is also friendship that will, that will spread God's love and build up his church. So when we say that women were created to be generous, we really are saying in a way that women are called to build communities and to build friendships. Men have different callings. It is the sensitivity, the generosity of women that build communities, that pull people together. It is only through our generous heart that spends all day in the kitchen creating a meal so that people can come together and have time together. Or the generous love of a mother that will sit with a baby while the baby is sick and rock that baby. Yes, men can do these things. Men can do these things well. But it is women who were created to really be the generous heart at the center of a community, at the center of a friendship, and at the center of a family. And so, Sprouts, my challenge for you today is to work on one of your friendships. Maybe it's a friend from school or a sibling or a cousin, but I want you to do something generous for that friendship today. Maybe you simply call them and give them some of your time on the phone. Maybe you write them a letter. Maybe it's someone at school and you spend time with them in another way, whatever it might be, but just think, how can I nurture this friendship even more and therefore live out the way that I was created to be. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God intended you to be. Hey there, I'd just like to remind you to head over to the Patreon community if you are a member and download your freebies for this week. Also, I'd like to invite you to join us on Facebook if you haven't already. Over there, I host a Facebook group for parents that are striving to raise saints just like you. So to find links to both of these things, please check the show notes for this episode. (music) 